Trump is unraveling before our eyes, but will it matter? In the weeks immediately surrounding the midterm elections, Donald Trump called for the termination of constitutional rule, openly embraced the conspiratorial QAnon movement, pledged support for the January 6 rioters and hosted, over dinner at Mar-a-Lago, the white supremacist Nicolas Fuentes and Yee, once known as Kanye West, both of whom are prominent antisemites. Does every step Trump takes off the deep end make him a greater liability for the Republican Party, potentially leading to a second Biden term, the loss of the party's precarious control of the House and an across-the-board weakening of Republican candidates up and down the ticket, from the U.S. Senate to local school boards? Will Trump's wrecking ball bid for the presidency fracture his party? Will Trump's extremism prompt the mainstream right, Mitch McConnell, Ron DeSantis, Glenn Youngkin, Nikki Haley and all the rest, to rise up in revolt? How are the worsening intraparty fissures likely to play out over the next two years? Most of the strategists and scholars to whom I pose these questions outline scenarios in which a Trump candidacy is mainly helpful to the Democratic Party and its candidates. They often cited the hurdles confronting those seeking to nominate a more mainstream candidate. The Republican Party faces a lose-lose proposition as long as Trump is politically active, Martin Wattenberg, a political scientist at the University of California Irvine, wrote by email in response to my inquiry. If Trump succeeds in getting the nomination again, it would seem that his brand is so damaged among independents and some Republicans that he will be unelectable, Wattenberg continued. And if Trump loses his nomination fight, it seems highly likely that he will charge that he is a victim of voter fraud and damage the legitimacy of the Republican nominee. If that were not enough to satisfy Trump's thirst for vengeance, Wattenberg suggested that it is certainly conceivable that he would mount an independent candidacy and split some of the Republican vote. Continuing his fight as an independent would enable him to continue to raise big sums of money and attract the attention that he so intently craves. All in all, it could well be a disaster for the GOP. While Trump has suffered setbacks on both the political and the legal front, no one I contacted suggested that he should be counted out in the 2024 nomination fight. Instead, just as was the case in 2016, the most favorable situation in 2024 for Trump would be a multi-candidate field, as opposed to a single opponent who could consolidate those opposed to him. How, in a matter of less than a decade, could this once proud country have evolved to the point at which there is a serious debate over choosing a presidential candidate who is a lifelong opportunist, a pathological and malignant narcissist, a sociopath, a serial liar, a philanderer, a tax cheat who does not pay his bills, a man who socializes with Holocaust deniers, who has pardoned his criminal allies, who encouraged a violent insurrection, who, behind a wall of bodyguards, is a coward, and who, without remorse, continuously undermines American democracy.